guys, Jonathan with JonathanWaltersPhotographer.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of the haloing effect whenever you use the clarity sliders and stuff like that. Occasionally whenever you have a high area of contrast, you'll see a white halo right around the edge of the of this. Um, this is not my image. This image is owned by Dwayne Cosma. Um, he's asked me to do this for him, so that's the only reason I'm doing it. I'm not going to be touching up or doing anything else in the image except for showing you how to do that. So first thing we're going to do is start by adding a new layer on top of this layer. Uh, we're going to go to uh, the blend mode on the layer and go to darken. And then we're going to go over to the tool panel and pick the uh, clone stamp tool. What we're going to do here is hit Alt or Option to sample from outside of this area in the blue area. And because we have it on darken, let's go right about there. I don't want any of the tree in the stamp. Because we have it on darken, it will actually draw underneath the tree. And we can play with the opacity on this so it's not quite so apparent. And, uh, and I'll, I'll show you in just a minute how we do that. At first, it's not going to look perfect. Um, you do want to sample from right above where you're going to be doing it so you have the best shade and the best gradient on that. And just drag down. It's not going to look perfect right out of the gate. It does take a little bit of tweaking. We really don't need any too much down there. And just pull up to the sky. So you can see, for the most part, it's actually gone. It doesn't look too bad. If you didn't see the tree before, you would not know what's going on there. But how you fix this and how you um, get it looking like it's supposed to do Create a layer mask on this and go to uh, your color and make sure you're painting on top of it the uh, opposite color. Let me get a brush that looks right. That's my little signature brush that I use. And essentially all I'm going to do is uh, you can erase it if you want to. I like to use layer masks because they allow me to, uh, to fix if I erase too much or if I go back and look at it and I realize I missed a spot it lets me go back and fix that. Oh no, I got the balloon with the little wheel of death. It probably doesn't help that I append like 700 brushes on here rather than just using new ones. But uh, if it doesn't work with me, I'm just gonna go to the race. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the race method. So you can do the layer mask and you can erase it off there. I'm just going to go select this. We don't we don't need the layer mask on there anymore. So I'm just going to uh, Command Z and that takes it off of there. I'm going to make sure I have a soft erasure, so the hardness all the way down to zero and a bigger brush than what I'll need because I'm just going to come in from the edges, and the feather of that is going to erase my line. And there you go. Uh, I can get closer in the detail if I want to. Uh, this is a beautiful picture. I love the detail in this picture. He did a really great job with this. And I can come in here in the trees and get rid of the green and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to touch it up too much because it's not my image. I'm not keeping it. The guy's not keeping it. I'm just showing him how to do it. So there you go. That's how you get rid of the halo effect in those photos. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and have a good one.